In today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of the episodes from the Penguins of Madagascar series called Cradle and All. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am Drawing Stories and More, and I do how to draw videos, and I read kids' books, and I talk about different cartoon characters, and different movies, and different episodes from different animated movies and shows. And like I said, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this episode, Cradle and All, from the Penguins of Madagascar series. Now, the episode begins when Private is talking about badgers and why you can't trust them, because for some reason he has a fear of them. So anyway, after he does that, Kowalski tries to make a point about the unexpected because he made a gadget that can detect the unexpected and Private gets the bright idea to throw a fish at Kowalski which causes a chain reaction which ended up causing a stroller with a baby in it to roll out of the zoo and when the penguins see this they race after the stroller and save the baby and then once they ha once they have it, once they stop the stroller, the baby starts crying and Skipper's like, okay, first thing we gotta do is quiet this baby. And <laughs> Kowalski suggests that they give him some toys and <laughs> oh my goodness, they don't know how to take care of a baby. Or at least none of them do except for private. I mean, Kowalski seemed to kind of have an idea of it because once Rico barfs up these um, weapons <laughs> and Skipper's like, uh, let's find something a little bit different, like, and then he lists like a weapon or two and Kowalski's like, um, I was actually thinking about giving him a plush animal. And so Rico barfs up a plush animal and gives it to the baby, which that doesn't quiet him down. And <laughs> actually, he needed his diaper changed. And so the penguins try and change the baby's diaper. And <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but before they change his diaper, <laughs> Kowalski's like, um, what's that horrible smell? And he's like covering his nose and... <laughs> It's actually pretty funny because the penguins actually don't really have noses, but yet they're like holding their beaks like they have a nose, but it's actually kind of interesting or kind of strange because, again, they don't really have any, um, any nose. They don't really have a nose, but yet they can smell, so I kind of think that's kind of funny, but anyway. So, they try and change the baby's diaper, and first, they put Rico in the diaper instead of doing what they have to do for the baby, which I don't know how they, how they managed to do that. These, these penguins just crack me up. But anyway, so they try again, it doesn't work, and then they finally get it. There's this one part where Kowalski says, I almost lost conscience, 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 as you say, con conscience, I can't pronounce it. Anyway, he almost gets knocked out in other words. And when he said that, I just cracked up. I thought that was so funny. And when he said that, I thought that was so funny. Conscience is... I don't know why I can't pronounce that. I can pronounce some weird things, but I can't seem to pronounce that for some reason. But anyway. So anyway, the baby stroller rolls away again, and the penguins have to chase after it. So, the Skipper has this grappling hook attached to the stroller, and the stroller is pulling the penguins along all over the city. And they finally end up in a museum, and Private even throws up. <sighs> poor little thing and so they leave the museum and they see that the baby is headed for a construction site which ends up being a demolition site and so they rescue the baby again and they keep chasing him all over 
And Skipper keeps saying, get him. <laughs> but they just can't get him. And finally Kowalski's like, wait a minute. We're just going to end up chasing each other around <laughs> if we keep this up. So finally they keep, you know, they keep trying to get him. And, and finally they, actually they almost have him a few times. But then they finally get him. And disaster strikes again. <laughs> and then finally when the baby is falling, they eventually save him and take him back to his father. I kind of don't understand why the baby why he would take a baby to a zoo. I mean, I kind of don't really understand that and his wife wasn't even with him. Now I could see if he had you know, a wife and maybe she was with a older child and they were walking around the zoo, which that might have been the case and we just didn't see them. But anyway, so the penguins take the baby back to its father and and that's pretty much it. But yeah, this is this is a good episode. It is so funny. I love, again, that part where Kowalski says he almost loses conscience conscience Again, I can't pronounce that. I don't know why. But anyway, so, yeah, that was just so funny. <laughs> he said that. <laughs> and, you know, it's actually interesting because I've actually read that people have said that Kowalski and Private would actually make great fathers. And I actually think that actually would be right because there's actually a couple episodes where Private shows this. He takes care of this little duckling and then his siblings in another episode and I'll talk about those in time. But yeah, so he shows that he would make a great father even though he's actually the youngest and is actually very childlike himself. Which, that's actually something really interesting about him. He's very childlike, but yet he would make a great parent. Which, I guess some people that actually are kind of youthful, but yet have, you know, like a um, responsibleness to them. I don't know, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> in his case, he definitely would make a great father, I think. And I believe Kowalski would too, which I believe this is one of the episodes that proves that. <laughs> Because again, when Skipper's like, let's give him, and then he's like naming a, a weapon or something, and Kowalski's like, uh, I think a plush animal would be better. <laughs> so yeah, I think he actually would make a great father too. And I think Skipper would too, you know, with some adjustments to his personality. And there's actually even a part in this episode where he calls the baby a burden, which I'm like, Really, Skipper? Really? <laughs> I mean, sure, they, he put him through a lot of craziness, you know, trying to chase after him, but still, I'm like, really, Skipper? So, yeah, Skipper's got to, yeah, he's got to adjust some things before I think that could happen. But I really think Skipper has it in him to be like a great husband and a great father in time. Yeah, with some changes <laughs> a few changes and yeah I think that would really be interesting it'd be interesting if all four of them or at least Skipper Kowalski and Private you know maybe were given some love interests in time and they had children and maybe they could do like a next generation thing kind of like that thing that they've done with um My Little Pony that next generation thing they did that would be that would be pretty interesting I don't know if that'll ever happen, but just, you know, I've heard people say that they think this franchise is over, or almost over, and I've mentioned that before in one of my other videos, but I really don't think it's over, or almost over myself, but I really think if they were to really think about, you know, what they could do with this franchise, like, I don't know, like what I just said, maybe do like a next generation thing like maybe have like all 11 characters <laughs> find their love interest and then you know maybe they have kids and then they could you know still kind of stay in the picture and we could follow some of their adventures and their kids adventures and yeah I don't know but <laughs> maybe that would be interesting 
I don't know, but we'll see. <laughs> I guess there's really like a whole list of things that they could do, but we'll see. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more, because I plan on reviewing more of the episodes of The Penguins, and I've actually reviewed a few in the past, so go check those out, and stay tuned for more. Bye!